Hey you guys, so it is day five of Veda or Spring Mist, whichever one you want to call it, and I just got home. It is mm, 20 minutes till 10, and I have on a lot of makeup, and my hair is kind of crazy, but um, today I, the school where I work put on a musical, and they had several people drop out, and two weeks ago I agreed to help them do a number which turned into doing four numbers um, in the play, like singing and dancing. And tonight was the first performance and the last performance. They're only doing two, but tomorrow night's our other performance. And it has been hectic. I still have on minimal stage makeup. You can see I have, like, dots inside. If I close my eye, I have, like, super, you can't tell in this light, but, like, I have super, like, dark shadow and liner my blush is pretty bright. My lipstick all wore off because I kept messing with my mouth um, on the way home. But it's super, super late. And I was supposed to do my favorites video today. But that is not going to happen. So instead, I was just going to talk for a few minutes about how different doing any sort of song and dance performance is when you are almost 30 as opposed to when you are um, 13 to 18. 18. For one thing, um, like, it wasn't hard for me to pick up the music. Um, we did songs, um, like a lot of songs that I already knew. I like musical theater a lot, so I, you know, the songs that I'm singing, there was only one song in the entire play that I had never even heard, which is pretty decent, um, odds as far as it goes, because we're doing... We did nine songs. Um, instead of doing like a full-on musical play, what we did was it's called like a night off Broadway, and we did nine songs and scenes from really popular musicals like Annie and The Sound of Music and um, things like that. So um, there was only one of those nine songs that I had never heard, which is pretty decent odds all in all. And so learning the music was pretty easy, um, except for the song I didn't know actually first time I even got the notes right was tonight, right before we went on stage, because, yeah, I had 16 days, not practices, but actual days, um, from the time I agreed to do the musical until we performed tonight, so that was not very intelligent on my part, but that, but learning the dance moves, um, insanity. It was just absolutely, um, I went to the teacher who choreographed it, um, our math teacher randomly, um, did a lot of musical theater in high school, and so she did all the choreo and the directing, and then the choir director took care of all of the music and teaching them the music and stuff. But I went to her several times after school and was like, or after, like, during my lunch break, and was like, we have to dance because I have no idea what's going on. Um, we rehearsed right before we went on stage, like, we spent the afternoon, yesterday we had, like, a freak snowstorm, didn't get to have practice, so we did our dress rehearsal kind of stuff before the performance tonight, did both songs, I had no idea what I was doing, and managed to do it tonight for the performance the way I was supposed to, but it was mass insanity. So, um, it's really cool, though, because I have really missed performing, um, my voice was almost shot, though, after, like, 16 days of singing, and it's just four songs, and I sing in the radio, like, I sing in the car to my radio, I sing at my house, you know, I sing, um, you know, just, like, goofing off, like, with Alyssa sometimes, like, we just, like, have, like, random concerts, and, um, at school, several of the teachers and I will do, like, random 80s tunes and sing, but singing like, actually singing for a show was so much different. So, it was really cool, though, to relive this thing that I did a lot when I was in high school, which was be part of a show choir and sing every day and practice and learn things. Like, that was a really cool experience. So, I'm really glad that I decided to do this. And tomorrow, if I can, I'm going to kind of try to film a behind-the-scenes video of, like, what just goes on backstage during that kind of thing with like my voiceover if I can um it might be like prep stuff um me getting ready maybe I don't even know 
I do not even know, and it might not even happen, so um, don't get too excited for a backstage video because it's going to be difficult to help kids get dressed and changed and get myself changed and get sets changed and all of that stuff happening um, and then film too, but that's what I would really like to do. But I hope you guys are having a very exciting weekend. I hope you're not as tired as me, and I hope you don't have on as much eye makeup as I do. Um, and I hope your glasses fit better than mine are today. But anyway, happy day five of Veda Spring Miss. And if you guys have any performing arts history, let me know. Or a favorite musical, let me know in the comments. Bye!